Today we're going to think about how our dog's eyes can help us understand what they might be thinking or feeling. Our dogs can be incredibly expressive. And when we're thinking about, for example, these three different dogs who are going through very different experiences, we can see that their eyes all tell us very different things. The first dog has softly open almond-shaped eyes with very small pupils, and we can see no whites around those eyes. The brow is also very relaxed. The second dog has highly dilated pupils a little bit of tension in their brow and is intently focused. Our third dog actually has squinted eyes. It's hard to tell if we have pupil dilation in this case or not, um, but we do have some pretty severe brow furrowing in this case. Each of those different changes in the dog's eyes help us to understand a little bit more about what's going on. Our first dog with those soft almond shaped eyes and no tension is more likely to be relaxed than our third dog who has all of that tension in his forehead and whose eyes are heavily squinted instead of softly almond shaped. Our middle dog, the white dog, has those really dilated pupils and a little bit of brow furrowing, which could mean a few different things. In this case, we want to recognize that that's a slight increase in excitement. And in the context of this particular photo, it's because the dog was looking at a tennis ball and anticipating that it was going to be thrown. We would use other body language information in different contexts to help us understand what that dog might be saying otherwise. A scared dog can use their eyes in a few different ways to help us understand that they need a little bit more space and that they're not feeling very comfortable when we look at our tan dog here, he's got a pretty clear expression showing that uncertainty. We have, again, a lot of brow furrowing there. You can see his eyebrows are actually pointing towards each other. And although his head is lowered, he's looking upwards. And we can see that white around the underside of his eyes. That's actually referred to as whale eye when we can see the sclera and it shows that white part of the eye. When our dogs are doing this, it's because they're trying to look at something without fully turning their head and their body towards it. And that's one way of helping them to inhibit aggression in another individual. In some scenarios, just like with our first pity that we looked at and this little guy here, we see those narrowed eyes when a dog is nervous or afraid. Often this is a result of them blinking frequently which is an appeasement signal dogs will use to try to tell someone that they're nervous about, that they're not a threat, and they just wish that person would go away. A dog who's comfortable might also show narrowed eyes in some situations. For example, here, we see a dog who's clearly narrowing their eyes because it's a bright day outside. So it is really important to include environmental factors in our assessment of body language every single time. With our first dog, we could see that it looked like a pretty cloudy day. Sun was definitely not a factor there. And last, we can think about how a single dog might show a few different expressions, and we want to recognize that what is neutral for one dog may not be the case for another. So Fredo, for example, is a round-eyed dog. His eyes are going to look rounder than another dog's might in any given situation. You'll see this also with pugs or with the Pekingese. Um, their eyes are naturally going to be more round. But his round eyes are also still not going to show any white around them when he's feeling comfortable. When he's uncomfortable, as you can see in this photo where he was very scared, you can actually see the white around his eyes and we still get that very heavy brow furring where those eyebrows are pointing together. And in our last photo, we see that his eyes are softly almond shaped when he's in complete relaxation. So when he's starting to fall asleep, he's very, very comfortable and he's almost you know, unaware of the other things going on around him. We start to see that softening of his expression as his eyes begin to close. So do remember that whatever you're looking at, 
your dog's typical neutral will be your baseline. And we have to determine, are their eyes wide or narrow? Is their brow furrowed or relaxed? Depending on what they would typically show.